When building a computer, one of the main things people think about is future-proofing their systems. For example, you may only need an RTX 3060 to play all of the games you play today at, let's say, 1440p and 144Hz, but instead you go out and buy an RTX 4080. Even though you can't take advantage of the extra frames or the higher resolution right now, who says you won't start playing a new, more demanding game in the future, or buy a better monitor capable of, let's say, 4K and 240Hz? I recently found myself in this exact predicament when I went out and bought a 4080. I was mainly playing games like Valorant and Call of Duty, but with the release of Hogwarts Legacy, I found myself playing a much more demanding game at ultra presets. Of course, I'm still only gaming at 1440p, so a lower tiered card could have managed to deliver 144 or even 165 hertz. But I'm planning a monitor upgrade in the future to 4K most likely, so it makes a lot of sense to future-proof my graphics card. And the same could be said for your CPU, RAM capacity, and even storage capacity but not too many people think about their power supplies. If you go out and build an RTX 3060 PC tomorrow, you're probably gonna go with something like this 450 watt power supply. There's some obvious specs for this Corsair power supply. It's obviously 450 watts, it's completely non-modular, and it's an 80 plus bronze certified unit. So it'll get the job done for the needs of the power that you need for this particular build. It'll be cheaper due to the lack of modularity and it'll be pretty efficient with an 80 plus bronze rating. But budgeting some extra wattage with added modularity and better efficiency will always help future-proof your system for any potential upgrades that you make down the line. But wattage and 80 plus ratings aren't the only things you should consider when buying a power supply. Nowadays, you also wanna consider things like PCIe 5.0 and ATX 3.0 specifications to truly future-proof your system. ATX 3.0 is the new specification standard for PSUs, and Intel recently released this new ATX 3.0 design guide as a way to help drive smarter power performance, provide more reliability, and better power efficiency. These new specifications allow for greater efficiency and improved performance under greater and greater power demands that we continue to see from each and every generation of new CPUs and GPUs. This means increased peak current to 40 amps, broader load regulation on the 12 volt rail, increased step size and faster power on times. There's also greater power excursion for increased tolerance to high power spikes and greater power delivery to GPUs of up to 600 watts with the new 12 VH power connector. And typically PSUs with the ATX 3.0 certification will also be PCIe Gen 5 ready and should come with the new standard 12 VH power 12 plus four pin connector that's being used on the RTX 40 series cards and many future GPUs. As mentioned, this allows GPUs to draw a maximum of 600 watts that we're already seeing with peak power spikes from high-end GPUs like the RTX 4080 and 4090, especially when overclocked. Besides all of the fantastic benefits when it comes to energy efficiency and performance, it can also help clean up the look of your system and remove all the cable clutter from around your GPU. This is especially the case like in my current build when using the adapter to go from three 8-pin VGA power cables to one 12 VH power connector. So I was super excited to make the upgrades in my build when FSP reached out and sent over their new ATX 3.0 Hydro PTM X Pro Series power supply. And the version they sent over is good for 850 watts, but you can get one all the way up to 1200 watts and it's 80 plus platinum rated for amazing efficiency. As tremendous power excursion capabilities with being able to supply a peak power up to 200% or 1700 watts for 100 microseconds with efficiency greater than 92% at typical loads at 115 volts and even greater at 230 volts. It also comes with a 120 millimeter fan with a fluid dynamic bearing for awesome noise levels of just eight decibels up to 35% load and a max of just 30 decibels at 100% load. But let's get this thing unboxed and show what comes included in terms of cables and also show off the overall look and feel of this power supply. So the Hydro PTMX Pro also comes with a 10 year warranty, really FSP living by the quality of the components that they're using inside of their power supplies. And inside the box, we even get a couple of other stickers that you can replace the blue stickers that come with the power supply with either a red or a green one in case you might have one of those side panels that allows you to see the power supply inside of your case. We also get some uh, Velcro wrap in order to tie down our cables. And then we get this really nice sleeve like felt bag with all of the cables inside. Uh, so 
Overall, these cables maybe aren't the cleanest looking. They're all black, which is really nice, but they're not sleeved or anything like that. So you have each of the individual kind of wires uh, exposed and, and there, but you can always get some cable extensions in order to then have a cleaner look on the inside of your case. Uh, and then this would all be in the backside. The only cable that is sleeved is that 12 BH power connector, uh, maybe just because of the, the quality of that cable and the, the requirements around that cable. But overall, you do get a lot of cables with this power supply. Of course, you get your motherboard connector. You then get two 4 plus 4 pin CPU connectors, the one 12 VH power connector. We also get four PCIe 6 plus 2 connectors, but they're both, it's really two that are daisy chainable. So you can, of course, still plug in a regular graphics card. You then get 12 SATA connectors. So you could definitely use this thing for something like a home server and then some Molex and some floppy connectors as well. And also, of course, inside of the box, we get our power supply. And this thing looks really, really clean. And overall, it's also a much shorter power supply than normal. A typical power supply at this wattage is normally around 190 millimeters long. This one just at 130 millimeters long. You can see that really nice fan. Overall, a really, really nice design. I really like the finish on the power supply. Not that you're really ever gonna see it, but it looks really good. As you can see, you have all of these connectors on the back. You got your peripherals, your CPU power, your motherboard power, and then any of that PCI GPU power on the back. We then get our switches and of course our plug. Uh, you also get an eco mode on this power supply that lets you run at zero dB under 30% load. And then of course, all your information on efficiency. So overall, a really, really nice looking power supply. And if we look at my old power supply setup, you can just see how many cables are crammed into the bottom of my case and it's kind of overbearing. And you can really see the difference here between the old EVGA one and the new FSP one, just a lot less cables that I have to fit inside of this case. Uh, the EVGA ones are all sleeved where these aren't, but overall it's just a lot less cables to cram in because I'm going from three PCIe cables to just one 12VH power connector. And once we get it in the case, you can really just see how much less clutter there is in the back. I could have done a better job cable managing, but overall it looks pretty good. And on the inside of the case, the side you're actually going to see, the graphics card just looks so much better with this one connector without any adapters or anything like that. And overall just looks really clean. Whether you're building a new PC or upgrading an old one, future-proofing as many components as possible will set you up well for the future. And although you might really be thinking about CPU and RAM and graphics card, and maybe power supply is in the back of your mind, it is definitely a good place to start because all those other components are getting powered by one thing, and that is your PSU. And if you're looking to future-proof your power supply, then definitely look no further than the FSP Hydro PTMX Pro. It's a super simple installation, and all of the amazing features that come along with this power supply really set you up well for the future. The 12 VH power connector just makes the system look so much more clean without all the extra adapters and cables in the system. And you also have way easier cable management on the backside. Not that anybody sees it, but it's just a lot easier to manage. Overall, there's also some really nice features when it comes to the eco mode in order to run at zero dBs under 30% load on the power supply. And even if you do have the power supply fan on, it's very, very quiet, very little coil on or anything like that. So very happy with this FSP Hydro PTMX Pro, and I think it sets me up well for the future. And even though it is only an 850 watt capacity, you can of course bump that up to 1200 watts. I think that should be plenty fine for my 4080 and even a CPU upgrade down the line to maybe Intel 14th gen or AMD Ryzen 8000. So very, very much looking forward to some potential future upgrades just based on the capabilities I now give my system with the upgraded power supply. So if you guys are looking to get your hands on this power supply, there'll be a link down in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below, and I will see you guys in the next one.